there are certain interesting numbers in mathematics like pi e etcetera. The numbers basically started with uh, natural numbers. So, 1 to infinity of course, infinity was not even conceived as a number and so too was 0. So, in the initial phases and therefore, we start with natural numbers and then we move on to uh, whole numbers and then we move on to integers the negative numbers that itself is an interesting history on its own. Anyway, the point that I wanted to make is this number pi which we uh, refer to to represent the ratio of circumference to the diameter has a very interesting history. Why were they interested in calculating the value of pi to high degree? One way to see is uh, um, so, it has to do with the area of um, circle and you cannot avoid it, but then its nature was never understood. In fact, uh, there are books which we describe as the most mysterious number. And uh, today, we have understood that to be a transcendental number. So, it was first recognized as irrational number and uh, the irrationality itself is not so easy to understand. So, people struggled for thousands of years and uh, to have an exact representation of pi. So, since it is irrational, it may not be possible for you unless you have infinite series in the right hand side. So, any series that you have which adds up, if it is a terminating series, so it will turn into a rational number. So, unless you have infinite series, there are various infinite series representations for pi. One interesting series which is today ascribed to Grigory and Leibniz is a series which was codified in the form of verse almost 300 years before Grigory and Leibniz by a mathematician called Madhava as we understand today. Madhava was in 14th century. So, these people have been in uh, 17th century. So, historically this is something which is not so well known. And if uh, the series were to be given uh, a name which actually honors the founder so, then it should be really called Madhava series instead of Grigory Leibniz series. This is a historical note about pi. What was the context in which people wanted to know the value of pi in the Indian tradition? If we look back, the kind of altars which people have been using thousands and thousands of years before for performing various rituals. Every household was supposed to have uh, three altars, one in the form of uh, circle, the other in the form of square and the third in the form of semicircle. So, these were called as Tretagni. So, one is called Ahavaniya, Dakshina and Garhapatya. The constraint that people imposed was that the three altars should have the same area. Now, you can very easily see as to why they wanted to know the value of pi. So, it occurs in that context. So, in the circle area as we understand today is pi r square and that should be equated to sort of uh, a square and uh, the area should be same. And we have some sort of approximation uh, in the Shulva Sutras. Shulva Sutras as I told you, so is around 800 BC. So, we do not know exactly because there is uh, no reference which is found in Shulva Sutra which gives us a hint to make an estimate of the date of composition as we find for instance in Aryabhatiya or later works. Aryabhata for instance gives a verse, so wherein he clearly states see Hashtyabdhanam Shashtiryada Vyatitaha Trayascha Yugapadaha Tridhika Vimshati Rabdaha Tadeha Mamajanmano Titaha. So, he very clearly says the year of composition. And uh, after Sulva Sutra, so we find a nice approximation for pi which has been given by Aryabhata. Aryabhata's verse goes like this Chaturadhikam Shatam Ashtagunam Dvashashti Statha Sahasranam Ayutadvaya Vishkam Bhasya Asanno Vritta Parinaha. This is a very interesting verse. Interesting in the sense that it gives you a very clear picture that it has been clearly recognized by Aryabhata that it is only approximate value. So, how do we come to know? Because he has used the word asana. Asana means that which is close by. 
asannaha vritta parinaha how do they express so they express the circumference on the left hand side in terms of diameter multiplied by some quantity okay so this is how it goes chaturadhikam shatam ashtagunam chaturadhikam so he he basically gives you a ratio okay so circumference should be mentioned in terms of diameter so here he says if this were the diameter then you have to multiply by this term to get the circumference okay so that is how he says ashtaguna means multiplied by 8 so chaturadhikam shatam 104 so 4 above 100 chaturadhikam shatam ashtagunam dvashashti statha sahasranam sahasranam dvashashti dvashashti is 62 so 62000 62000 plus this so it comes to 62,832. Ayutadvaya Vishkambhasya. See, Vishkambha is a term which is used for diameter as Vistara, Vishkambha, Vyasa. These are the terms that they generally use for diameter. Ayutam is 10,000. Ayutadvaya is 20,000. Asanno Vritta Parinaha. Vritta Parinaha, the circumference of a circle. So, circumference of a circle is close to this. What does this boil to? So, this boils to getting a value which is 3.1416 as the value of pi. So, this is correct to 4 decimal places. In fact, people have been asking, uh, so how did Aryabhata get this value? So, which is correct to 4 decimal places, what was the? So, it is not something which one can draw and then keep measuring by something, some scale by which you will be able to get this kind of accuracy is, it is almost impossible. So, they had a way of uh, doubling method see circumference doubling you divide that into various parts and you can nicely get some formulae. So, which uh, essentially involves computing square root and square see. So, if you have a way if you have the technique to find the square root correctly and the square if you have algorithms for that then you will keep on uh, increasing your accuracy by taking more and more divisions on it. So, that uh, seems to be the uh, polygon doubling method seems to have been the method which should have been used even by Aryabhata to get this value.